What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Pace Studio here in Midtown Manhattan. We are broadcasting to you live from the Manhattan Center here on 34th Street, and we are joined by a very special guest right now. This is Kat Cunning. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. Yeah, welcome to Paste. Thank you. It's so good to have you. Uh, we have been listening to a couple of singles that you put out um, last year, 2017. Uh, Baby was great, and Wild Poppies video just came out, uh, which you choreographed. And we're going to hear, uh, I think we're going to hear Wild Poppies today, as well as a couple of newer songs also. Yep. Um, so let's start it off with some music. Tell me a little bit about what you're going to start with today. Hello, Internet. Um, this is a song that I wrote with nostalgia for the landline, and uh, it's about phone sex. When I lay in my bed, ceiling expanding, and the world starts to move in the moon. With the curtains blowing Like the breath from the mouth Or a night full of stars over you Current to light light And I'm taking right back To fall and never saw you move My hands like a landslide Your voice on my landline I feel like I'm right next to you Stay on the line I just want to hear Thank you guys. The crowd did go wild. There are many, many people behind me. I always say it's just they're so like amazed they can't. They're paralyzed. They're listening. Yeah, they're a listening right. audience. Yeah, that's right. They're I very intense. They're very intense. Um, so, uh, Kat, I wanted to ask you about. So these are this is sort of your songwriting coming out in a way. These the songs that you put out a little bit last year, and the new ones coming out. Um, it's my debutante ball. That's right. Mm -hmm. And I think you know so. Um, People in, in the city uh, around the art scene know you as primarily uh, an actress uh, on the stage, Broadway stage, and also a dancer and choreographer. Uh, and so you're known to this point for very, these are like visual mediums for, for your artistic expression. So, you know, I was wondering when it came to writing songs, and these are, you're, you're sitting down, you're creating music without immediately that visual component. 
is that really sort of a different channel for your creative mind as a way of getting these things out without sort of being something that is immediately seen by people? Yeah, totally. Um, well, for starters, I it's still visual for me. Like when I start writing or when I hear a chord, it immediately puts me in a place. And I like to write songs that I'm going to enjoy performing. So I think of them as like little theatrical operas, if you will, yeah. in, in the way that a good pop song tells you a story in like a really, really condensed, catchy way. That's what I'm always hoping will drop from the sky for me. Yeah. Um, and on the other side of that, I actually have been writing poetry since I was really little. I was first published in the Young American's Book of Poets for writing a poem about a burp that blew my teacher away. So um, physically, yeah. Like literally, blew, like yeah. literally put her through Not the wall. Not just surprised her, like miles away. Miles away. Into the distance, yeah. Um, and that sort of grew into like a spoken word sort of um, habit, I guess you could say, in college before I ever started to sing. So like writing um, wasn't new to me. Uh, but music for me feels like the place where everything that I do actually can live together. Yeah. And, you know, acting is different. You go in and you audition and there's a role that you're supposed to fit into. And with music, I get to make the thing that I want to share. Right. Same with uh, with choreography a lot of the time, I would think, in terms of something that comes out of you personally. Yeah. That that fits kind of a mood or a an idea. Are they Are they sort of similar in how you approach songwriting and creating movements for dance? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I see the movements when I write the song, and I hear the song when I make the movements. Yeah. Um, and both mediums can exist with other great artists that are inspiring me. Like, my first choreography in school before I write music was with Jasper Gahunia, who is an awesome composer. And, like, obviously there are a million wonderful creations under the sun to dance to, but it's, um, I guess it comes down to me being kind of a control freak about what I want to say and yeah. <laughs> touching every element of the production because I do have a vision of something that I want to share and I see the people that also in my field are not getting hired for the person they are. So I'm sort of inspired to create the world where the beautiful things I see get to live. Cool. Um, so we're going to do a couple more. Um, tell me a little bit about this next song you're going to do. I think this is also a newer one, yeah? Hey guys, what are we doing? Let's do one. All right. Listen, this one's called Wild Poppies. You've heard it. It's on, I have. It's on Spotify. It's in stores. That's right. There's a video out now. Beautiful video. Choreographed by yours truly. By me. Everything I just talked about. Yours truly, not My me. truly. Yeah. Not that, yours. You're not That's involved. right. That was a weird one. You can yeah. be, though. You can see yourself <laughs> in it. Um, yeah. So Wild Poppies. It's out. Go see it. I guess the other thing that I would say about my vision is that it's super um, sexual. So go watch the video. You're going to love it. <laughs> Here we go, right? Charcoal and gray begging for a cyclone To come my way with me to the sky I go out the way Spies blue again with you again, season spills a dusty love With providence, maybe we could rise above all of this I'll find us bliss And I'm convinced it's over the ledge Over the ledge
Thanks, guys, you guys. Thank Thanks for clapping. Thank you so much. Oh, it's our pleasure. That's what we do. We're professional clappers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can't pay you, but you're welcome to come to my shows. Yeah, well, same. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so let me ask. Like, you know, it's a really interesting kind of style of music. There's rock music being played here, like cool kind of the drums and the guitar. Your voice sounds like it's kind of jazz inspired. Um, you know, what was when you started out actually like in in uh, in theater? Were you was singing always a part of your Repertoire, or was that sort of added later? No, I was totally terrified to use my voice. Um, I haven't really been singing for very long. I was in dance conservatory uh, at SUNY Purchase mm -hmm. for school. And they have a lot of really great conservatories there. They have acting and music and studio projection and jazz. And I just found myself gravitating a little bit to every single other conservatory. Yeah. Um, and I think musically you hit the nail on the head. Like I'm, I was definitely inspired by a lot of the jazz graduates and I would follow them to Dizzy's and Smalls and all the clubs here in New York. And they actually were my first jobs. They would let me like dance to the sax solo or whatever. And I just felt like I had a place in the arts. Um, so I'm definitely influenced by jazz vocalists and jazz music. And that's how I started in nightlife here. Um, but yeah, I, I'm in love with pop too so yeah. i wouldn't say that i'm trying to bring that in at all um but it's in my bones kind of what were the what were some of the songs like you know as, as you were growing up and getting into you know theater and dance but also listening to pop music what what are the sort of like the, the milestones for you the things that you look back at as being sort of you know what what your music would be dir most directly inspired by listen it's like from all of the outsides like from being totally obsessed as a young person with the Backstreet Boys, mm -hmm. like totally obsessed. I wrote them a letter and was like, I can't play anything and I'm not a fan. I want to be in the band. I think you should make room <laughs> for me. And They would have to change the name. Yeah. Well, no. I mean, no? I'm, I'm sort of gender fluid. Like, oh. it would be fine. Oh. Um, <laughs> and... Like, from the other sides of that, like, being a dancer, we listened. I actually just realized one of the songs that I loved dancing to at the time was by Sia. Mm -hmm. um, like, yeah, jazz also, Nina Simone has just been a big part. Like, feeling good, every dancer does a solo to that song. So there sort of wasn't, like, a time-specific band that had come out while I was growing up. I think it's just, like, the outskirts of all of the music sort of blended together in what made me love it. Yeah, cool. And now singing and dancing will have to go together, right? Yeah. You're going to, like, you know, that, that's uh, like musical theater. Have you always sort of kept them separate? Like, you you act and you do things that are music-related, like choreography, dance, but have they never met for you to they this point? They have met. I did, a, I did a Broadway show with um, Cirque du Soleil called Paramore, but even that was, like, sort of a different approach to a musical. So yeah. in a way, yeah, I have, I have always felt like, you know, concert dance, which is, like, the fine art side of dance, mm -hmm. and then music being, like, music or classical music in ballet or whatever. And I think that, like, musicals get, are getting a little bit more creative and letting sort of different genres play. But, yeah, for the most part, they've been, like, five different things that I do, and yeah. that's why I'm so excited to build this thing where they can live together. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so we're going to do one more today. Uh, I think this is also a new one, uh, never before heard by yeah. many ears anyway. Tell us a little bit about this one. This is a song that if you're very smart, you'll know is not literally about birds. It's called Birds. Wait. I need some water. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tearing it down 
The wreckage is keeping me up And I can't come down The corners of the cardinals that haunt me The buzzing of the hummingbirds that knock me The ravens got to carnival just rocking me wide awake Like there's nothing at stake Cause I was born as perfect as the skies are Headlights stop into the skylark But now my brain's a prison for their flight Oh, get out of my head Get out of my head Get out of my head Cause all of these birds All of these birds in my head Swimming around Pecking to keep me home And I can't come down All of these words Building a house in my head Tearing it down The wreckage is keeping me up And I can't come down The murmur of the starting song is maddening The murder of the cross is coming at me The ticking of the clock is trying to mock me I'm wide awake Nothing at stake Cause I am still the architect of this cage And I set all the raptors on a rampage Begging for a rapture for an escape Get out of my head 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 Thank you so much. You got like your your like arena moves already already happening. You haven't seen half of it. Yeah, Matt. All right, I it's will. It's bigger. I'm gonna. I've got to see the other <laughs> half of it, or the slightly more than half majority. Listen, have I gotten a lot of hearts on the internet yet, or what? Yeah, the hearts are flowing in, man. Mm, I don't really believe you. Yeah, well, you know, I would. You said tell he would you lie to me. I, I so. did tell you that I would lie to you, but I'm not kidding. Look, here they are. You can see. You can see like. Yeah, see, look, see, floating okay. across the screen. There they are. Okay. Yeah, you can believe me. Sometimes. Okay. Um, so um, that was those were three songs uh, by Cat Cunning. Uh, here, one of them, Wild Poppies, is already out. There's an amazing video for it that everyone can go check out. Um, I think it is probably at catcunning.com. You can find it there. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, and there's a big yeah. tour coming up uh, in support uh, of LP. There's going to be a tour starting in California or no Chicago. Starting in Chicago, Chicago, the Windy City. That's right. Uh, on the 24th of February and circling back here into New York at Brooklyn Steel on March 1st. Yeah, don't miss it, except it's sold out. Okay, well, still don't miss it. Show up anyway. Bang on the doors. You know, see, see, see what you can do. Yeah. Um, so congratulations on these songs. Is there, maybe, is there something like, are you going to collect them all into a collection format and put them all out at once yeah you mean like a like an album like an or album. like yeah. a uh-huh. collage yeah a, col- a music collage i think they call them now <laughs> yeah, a, yeah the story it, of right. songs yeah yeah i totally will you just gotta stay tuned all right we will um in the that's meantime it, right we don't want to do another one right 
that's the end, guys. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, go go visit catcutting.com. Check out those tour dates. Uh, watch the Wild Poppies video and listen to a bunch of more music. It's all really good. Um, and stalk me online. I love Instagram direct messages. Good to know. Thank you. Yeah, they're going to start rolling in right now. Great. Um, <laughs> by like the by the dozens. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Kat, thank you so much. Thank you, Matt. For coming to Paste and playing in our studio today here at the Manhattan Center. Uh, we really loved it, and congrats on the songs, and uh, have a great tour, and come back and play for us again anytime, all right? Sure will. All right. Thanks.